What's up, guys? It's Earthball here, and today uh, we're going to be playing some Papa's Burgeria. Oh, that's loud. Um, anyway, I went ahead and switched my emulator here, so hopefully this game runs at a slightly better resolution. Uh, I want to play the original experience. I won't be playing the mobile versions, even though I know they look a lot better. Um, but we're just going to play this one. Uh, we're, I'm using Flashpoint right now that emulates the Adobe Flash Player. Alright, let's look at the story here. Meet here for the prize, Papa Lou, the golden ticket to getting a minimum wage job. I mean, not even, do you get paid, paid minimum wage in Papa's games? I don't think $100 a week is minimum wage. Minimum wage is like $10 an hour, so... That would that would be like a hundred a hundred dollars for every ten hours. So that's so yeah, you're not getting minimum wage. This is the grill station. You cook and flip burger patties here. This is the build station. You stack burgers and toppings here. All right. Let's grab my mouse. Okay. Well, let's just let's just see. So like last time, I'm gonna be playing two. I'm gonna be playing like two, three, four days. Uh as a normal human being and then I'm just gonna absolutely destroy the business I you know you, because you can't you can't play a papa's game without having some fun you know all right this order needs a medium cooked burger blah 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 I've played this game before this is probably my most played papa's game behind papa's freezeria second so second uh papa's freezeria the only reason I play that most is because I, I got the deluxe version so so I just play that one more yeah, burgers cook so much faster in the tutorial. It will not be going this fast in the, act in the actual game. When the burger reaches the right cooking amount, drag it to the cooked stack on the right. Hold on, I gotta get my I gotta get my perfect. Did I get a perfect on my first order? Let's see. Just perfectly place that on top. Get the cheese perfectly placed. The lettuce. Mustard right in the middle, and of course the bun to make a perfect burger. There is no way that that is not in a hundred. What, bro? Penny, what? What? Hold on. Is there a? Is there? Ah, oh, dang it. There's no. Uh, there's no thing that shows me. Uh, why I got ninety nine. Come on, man. You can't you can't do me like that, man. I made the burger to perfection. I even gave you the perfect 50-50, but no, you gave me 99% of the grill station because it was it probably ended up being like 51-49. Who can How do you tell a difference between a 51% 49% cooked burger and a 50-50 cooked burger? You can't. So I I don't know what my man is like talking about. All right, can we get at least the perfect order here with Wally? Uh, whoa! Ooh, it's 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 burnt on that side. It's almost burnt. Whoa, whoa! whoa. No, I did I did not want to do that. Flashpoint is weird. Let me just zoom in, show all. I don't think you, yeah, you guys can't see this menu, but this is the little menu here. Oh, I clicked on go global settings on accident. Whoa, whoa! Hold on, I I do not want it. Is that okay? That is literally 50 50. Okay, I do. Well, I will say though that burger is overcooked, so I'm sorry if it's not perfectly cooked to the exact line. Sometimes you don't get what you want in life, don't be a crybaby about it. Double mayo is kind of a weird order, though. All right, well, let's put the ticket on and see what we get again, man. I should have at least gotten the hundred on the build station. I mean, look at that burger. It looks delectable. I think that's the word. <laughs> All right. Ooh, it's a little bit laggy, probably because it's actually the thing. Also, OBS just loves to tank my PC. That's why I couldn't use OBS on my old computer when I first started this channel because it would literally just like, I could not open Google when I had OBS open on that computer. Well. Yeah, so that kind of sucks. All right. Hello, uh, what's your name? Chuck. 
You look like the cool kid from school. <laughs> no, he doesn't actually, but like, he reminds me of like the vibe of a cool kid in school. Like, if you're the cool kid, you probably have felt this. Like, vibe, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just put the. Who puts sauce directly onto the bun? Doesn't that make the bun, like, slightly soggy? I don't know. I don't know how burger cooking works. I'm not a, I, I don't know, I don't know how to cook burgers. I'm not a burgeria chef. I, I don't know. All right, you want patty, okay, ketchup, another patty, okay, we need three patties. And then, a little sesame bun that, that, whoa, 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 oh, that's overcooked, all right. Get the frickin', just get three buns up. I'm gonna be here for a while. Making sure, ensuring that all of these burgers cook to pretty much perfection. So if, once they reach the line, you flip it. I mean, just basic math, guys. But, uh, <sighs> Papa's games don't really follow basic math, unfortunately. Alright, and... Right about there. Right about there. Right about there. Okay. Now we wait for perfect 50 50s. Forty-five, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Go. Forty-nine, fifty. Go. Go, go, go. Go. Okay. Is, are all of these one hundred percent fifty-fifties? Hope so. All right. Okay. So you want cheese, onion, tomato. Another shot of barbecue sauce. Bun. Okay. Burger is one of the few Papa's games that only have uh, three stations. Ooh, that took a little too long. Alright. So you just want, like, pretty much a Big Mac. To be fully honest. You know what? Let's try to make a Big Mac. Yeah, when we, when we, when we want to destroy a business, let's try to make a Big Mac. What even, what do you, how do I even make a Big Mac? I'm literally just going to Google right now how Big Mac, Big Mac ingredients. Let's just look up a picture of Big Mac. All right. Um, uh, I don't want the vegan Big Mac. I want the Big Mac. Oh, there we go. All right. I now know how to make a Big Mac. So we'll get to making that. Oop. We have to, we're making people wait. Sorry, my bad. You don't. You might want. You might not want to come here on uh, on, on day four. You might not want to be here on day four. Just saying. Just you know. Just saying. All right. Wally. Okay. Uh, we, I gotta get to grilling. Uh, do we have a closer today? I don't know if, if the older games introduce you to closers on day two. I'm not sure. Um. Oh. stuff also how do you guys feel about trump literally getting freaking shot in the air like guy like i man i don't how all right first of all on the shooter's part how did he hit the freaking ear news outlets say that he was struck from a far away balcony which means that he must have been using a sniper so how the heck did he freaking miss the head Trump wasn't even moving that much during that speech. And also, I mean, I can see the understanding of wanting to, you know, shoot, shoot somebody. Because I, I heard that he was, like, bullied and stuff. But, man, I I don't know about you, but why why Trump? What did Trump ever do to you wrong? Like, I can, I can maybe understand Biden for, like, increasing prices and stuff. But not Trump. What did, what did Trump do wrong? Trump hasn't even been in office for four years. So I, I don't know, man. Maybe maybe he just lived in Pennsylvania. And he was like, oh, Trump's coming to Pennsylvania. 
let's go grab my uh weapon and 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 go to the rally to uh to to have some fun. Also, like, didn't he get like oofed by the Secret Service? That's that that's actually they didn't they didn't even take the opportunity to jail him. They were just like, hey, that's the guy. They didn't even like question him or anything. I don't, I'm pretty sure they questioned him, but like they didn't even give him a chance. They were just like, oh, this is the guy. This is the guy. This is the guy. All right, all right. Where's your where's your weapon? Like they didn't even give him a chance to explain himself. He would they they were just like, this is the guy. Let's get rid of him before he shoots Biden or something. Honestly, I don't know. That that that, that news is. Just, just in my head now. Okay. Alright, recording for 10 minutes. Let's do another perfect day. Well, not perfect, but let's do another, like, normal day. And then we're gonna absolutely destroy the freaking thing. What, what, what thing? My brain isn't working. The shop. We're gonna, we're gonna make the dumbest stuff ever, including a real Big Mac. At least we'll try to re 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 come up with the Big Mac. Where's the freaking... Upgrades. Man, oh, there they are. Thirty, thirty dollars. Did the doorbell always cost thirty dollars? I think it. I think it did. I don't know. I don't play Papa's game that often. All right. Uh, what's this? What's this girl doing? A card. Also, I heard that if you call a, a woman a girl, apparently that's an insult. But when girls say girl to each other, it's fine. Man, I don't know. Girls are weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's literally what everybody thinks. You know, because like, oh, like, come on. How, how do you, how are you going to slander us for insulting you? And then you just like, you also say it in your freaking friend group. Man. Also, uh, I heard that TikTok is, uh, is, is doing something. I think, like, Joe Biden passed some kind of bill or something. I don't know. But, uh, I guess we'll just see. Well. Alright, we're gonna flip these burger patties. We're actually gonna have all of the burgers cooked before the customers come in. Because I'm such a, such, such, I'm so big brain. Alright, we're gonna need another patty chat. Get another patty on the, on the thing. Okay. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 50, send it up. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 50, send it up. Well, 50, 50, send it up. 50, 50, send it off. Okay. And, uh, flip, flip that one. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and start making some burgers. I think the assembly is the, is the easiest part to understand, but the hardest part to do well. Because the customers in this game are, like, super brutal. Also, people are saying that Cupcake Aria is an absolute nightmare, so... I can't wait when we play that one. We'll, we'll all be the judge of that. See if it's actually that brutal, since a lot of people on Reddit say it's, like, the worst thing ever. And others say it's, like, the best Papa's game by far. So, I don't know. Oh, oh, the burger patty's overcooked. Well, I don't care. Alright. Uh, probably, like, 17 people ordering. Yep. Alright, good morning, Wally. Man, wait, so if the lore is like, there's like a 1,000 mile wide island, how the heck are these same customers going from one shop to the other? They're like, alright, today I drove 1,000 miles from my home city in the east all the way to the west just to get a scoop of ice cream from Papa Scooperia. The end. Like, what? How are you, how are you mentally okay with that? Man, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and get the to get number two's order out though. Sorry, number one, you're gonna have to wait. Oh, that's a horribly assembled burger right there. Sorry, Taylor. 
I know your burger looks absolutely horrendous, but I, I honestly couldn't care less. Alright, let's assemble burger number one. I, I did see another person coming, so I think we're going to need another patty. Yeah, let's just see how many patties it's going to take. Alright, one more patty. Okay, well, let's just get the patty on the grill. Alright, um, patty... Uh, my eyesight is still decent. I'm shocked after playing video games so much. Uh, I think that's an onion. Uh, mayo. This. Put the chicken on. Alright. Okay. Awesome. Grill station over here where this is ready to be flipped. Boom. Okay. Um, burger. Patty with the with some cheese. Also, are we just putting raw cheese slices inside of the burger? What is wrong with us? Like, are we expecting it to magically heat up? I mean, it's gonna heat up because it's next to the little patty. But like, come on. Eighty one. Why is that? It's literally cooked. Ah, oh, it's not hot anymore. Oh, literally perfect timing there. All right, we gotta go fast since apparently like the burgers start cooling down, which is kind of dumb, but I guess it does add some difficulty. You gotta get everything done fast. All right, that's literally perfect. I don't know what else to say to you. God damn it. I mean, I did get 100 in the grill, but why 97? What did I do wrong? I let me guess. Uh, the onion ring was placed one millimeter too far to the right. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a remove points for that. Man, they're so harsh in these older games. All right. Well, uh, we've been recording for 16 minutes. Time to absolutely destroy the business. So I have a nice reference photo of the Big Mac here. So we're just going to make the Big Mac. That, how does that sound? No matter who the first customer is and what he orders, he or she orders, I am going to give him a Big Mac. Oh, hi, Big Polly. Looks like you're going to be getting a Big Mac today. All right. This Big Mac actually looks quite hard to make because it's a freaking Big Mac. It's, like, impossible to make. Should I should I cook the burger patties? You know what? I'll cook the burger patties for the, for the Big Mac just because I'm nice. But no, no, don't expect any of the other ones to be cooked. All right, Big Polly. Um, thanks for the order, buddy, but I'm actually not going to make it. Um... Oh my god, you want three patties? What is wrong with you? No matter your big Paula, you're ordering three patties. All right, we're only going to give him two because there's only two patties in the Big Mac. How did, how do Americans, I mean, I live in America, but how do Americans manage to eat a Big Mac? How do you fit that thing in your mouth? Like what? How do you fit this freaking tower into your mouth? I get this like an ad and it's probably not real and it's like slid up like toothpicks or whatever, but man, even the real one is, like, pretty tall, decent. How Do you just have a super mouth? How are you able to fit that thing in your mouth? I don't freaking know. All right, let's go ahead and take Wally's order. Or should I make Wally? You know what? Uh, the first person that looks like a vegan that comes into this shop today is getting a vegan burger. All right, Wally. Um, I'm, I have very unfortunate news for you. Uh... You're gonna get a raw patty. Sorry, buddy. All right. I don't really care about the 50-50 uh, anymore because we're building a freaking Big Mac. McDonald doesn't care. Neither should I. Okay. So we're gonna get a lettuce, cheese, and then the patty. I think that's how it goes. All right. And then the patty. And it looks like like garlic and peanuts or something, but we, it doesn't look like we have that. So let's just not do it. Okay. And then there's a there's another there's another patty. I mean, I mean, I mean, bun. All right, and then looks like it's, uh, oh, that's hard to tell. I think it's cheese and then lettuce. Let's go cheese and then lettuce. Um, and then it's pickles and then bun and then bun. Okay, I just made a Big Mac. <laughs> Sorry, Big Polly, if it's, like, bad. Oh, he still gave me 90 cents tip for the Big Mac. All right, 
All right, Wally. Uh, let's go ahead and start on your order here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, whoop. Uh, oops. Uh oh. It appears that I've messed something up. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> that looks horrible. What the heck is that? I got zero percent on the drill stick. <laughs> I wonder why. Maybe because it's raw. All right, let's go ahead and take your order here. Um, we're actually I want to I want to completely burn a burger. Can I do that? We're gonna freaking burn a burger. Hi hey, Taylor, you want the usual? You're not getting the usual, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just gonna burn all three of these bur. We're gonna burn these four burger patties up here, and then these ones are just gonna be raw. There's literally no in between on day four of Papa's Burgeria. Like the first couple days are just there to lure you in, and then afterwards we're just serving you raw burgers. <laughs> don't tell the FDA or whoever inspects this stuff. Do not do. Don't tell them that we're serving either completely burnt and charred burgers, or just absolutely raw burgers. Like I guess they're cooked on like for like one millisecond. And then they get immediately taken off the grill. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, thanks for the orders, guys. I'm not going to actually follow any of them. All right. We're actually going to wait for uh, for these to get to the middle. And then we're going to flip them to get about 50-50. All right. Uh, who looks like a vegan here? Um, It's it's close. So, let's, let's just do the one in the middle. So, that would be order number four. Okay. So, you wanted burger patty, cheese, that's actually a pretty vegan order right there. Alright, let's start your, uh, let's, let's get some, let's get some vegetables, obviously you want the vegetables. A little cheese on the side, okay, a little pickle. Alright, can I stack the onion on top of the pickle? Can I stack the onion more right to the pickle? Okay, that's the maximum we'll go. Alright, put in your bun. The pickle, we'll get the pickle back to this side. Put this on. A couple layers of onion, some lettuce. Flip the burgers. <laughs> what the heck? I don't think I've ever charred a burger more in my life. Okay, more onions back to this side. <laughs> I gotta take a screenshot of this. All right, add some lettuce. Um, nope, don't add that yet. Don't, uh, do not add that yet. We got, we still got stuff to do. Alright, add some pickles. And then, uh, shiver me timbers. Okay, and then, alright, let's put this up. And this, and this, and then, can I just put... <laughs> what the heck? I'm taking a screenshot of that. That is absolutely hilarious. Okay, let's get ahead and put the ticket on. It's the vegan staircase. Ooh, <laughs> 26 points. I actually made a little opening so I can see the points. Diff that's different. All right. Um, ah, they've stopped cooking. I wonder why. All right, and meanwhile, the next guy is going to get the freaking meat special. All right. Uh. Here, have a free pickle on the house. Thank you for eating at our restaurant. Wonderful establishment. Alright, we're going to give this one to order number five, just to make order number three wait longer on purpose. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and screw up order number three now with those burnt burgers. <laughs> what the heck are these things even? Do these things even classify, do these things classify as burger patties or ash? I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and put uh, some lettuce, one burnt thing. I'm sure, okay, you know what, guys? They won't notice if we put enough sauce. If we put enough sauce on it, I'm sure they won't notice that it's burnt. If we just put enough sauce to mask the fact that it's burnt, literally nobody will be able to tell that it is burnt. Boom, you can barely tell that it's burnt. If you look at it, I'll tell you, hey, that's a secret black vegetable what what vegetable what type of vegetable is uh black uh is there like a black watermelon or like a black strawberry or something um i don't know all right 
and put that on top, put the bun, and uh, <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> what the looks horrendous <laughs> all right Taylor um, I'm sorry man um, I, 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 I still got 90 cents tip from Big Polly when I made him a Big Mac so it's not horrible I just um I, at least I got a 78% waiting score right guys all right well that's gonna be where I end off the video next episode of Papa's games we're gonna be playing Papa's taco Mia which I've heard Papa's Taco Mia is slightly broken. So let's see how far we can break it. Hope that you guys enjoyed. And I'll see y'all next time.